Petre TV are with Nyla Bone now and I'm joined by Harry Scott. Harry, thanks for your time at what is a very busy show at the moment. Nyla Bone, a really well established brand, it's been around quite a while in the States and in the UK. Uh, yes, it's been uh, uh, in the States since 1955, uh, in the UK um, for just probably over about 40, 45 years now. So Harry, what in particular is the push here on the stand at PATS 2018? Uh, well, we've got our standard uh, range, our standard products, our best sellers. Uh, but we've also got some new products, uh, which include the uh, new Nyla Bone Snacks edible products, uh, which are brand new to the UK market. Uh, we've never done them before, so uh, it's a real big push um, for here at Pat's. And are they formulated in any particular ways? Uh, they're specially formulated for the EU market, so uh, we, they're all natural ingredients, um, grain-free, uh, wheat-free, um, to make sure that we are really hitting um, the points that we want to. What really makes them different in the market? Uh, so uh, the, the products, the edible products that, are, that makes them slightly different is that they cover the same kind of ethos as our standard Nyla Bone products in that they don't just crumble like a standard treat product um, and they don't splinter like a rawhide product. They're something a little bit in between so they, they do last a long time. They're not um, uh, these, they, these products that uh, crumble within seconds and minutes. Uh, our products uh, were made from uh, hard 100% uh, uh, natural ingredients um, and therefore will ensure um, that the chew and the treats last a long time uh, for the dog and obviously great flavours as well. And what is the price point on them? Uh, so we've got uh, between £5.99 uh, and £11.99, so £5.99 for the uh, blister packs, £11.99 uh, for the pouches. Okay. And you'd expect that to be a, a kind of a, a nice repeat piece of business for retailers then? Uh, very much so. These are these are one day uh, uh, treat um, type of toys. They won't be gone within one day or two days. You know they do do last a uh, period of time, but they are one of these uh, routine type treats. They give them uh, give them out daily, and you will get those weekly uh, repeat purchases back. So, in terms of the route to market for you, are you going to rec to retailers, or are you going through distributors? How do people get hold of your product? Uh, we do it in a numerous of ways. Um, we actually go through uh, several wholesalers, um, which people will find out, but we also do go uh, direct as well, um, offering some nice POS solutions as well to get uh, um, these products into store and really shouting um, to, the, uh, to the consumers as well. So you work hard with the retailers to help them shift the product, yeah? Uh, yes, very much so. So we're, we're ensuring that we get that sell through in store. Um, whenever we uh, we listen to uh, our retailers when they um, when they talk to us, uh, understand uh, what's going right, what's going wrong uh, in any situation, um, and really uh, do our best uh, to get these selling selling through um, and restocked as well. Harry, if you were going to give one reason for a retailer to stock your product, what would it be? Uh, the fact that. Uh, we, every dog uh, is an aggressive chewer in some way or form, whether it's um, uh, just a tiny little bit or, or massively. Uh, we have a product that fits uh, all of the dog's needs, chewing needs. Uh, so we do have uh, products such as, um, we call them strong, uh, which are for the slightly less of aggressive chewers, um, but still like to uh, have a nibble every now and again. Um, the really aggressive chewers, we have uh, what we call powerful chews, uh, which are made from hard uh, nylon, and they're all flavoured products. So we have the likes of chicken, bacon, even some uh, weird flavours like bison and, uh, and turkey. Um, so uh, getting a product that um, a, a dog can really go at uh, and not destroy within seconds or minutes is something that a consumer really is looking forward uh, to, to finding and in the store, and this is a tough product that that people should stop for that. Okay, thanks again, Harry. We'll let you get back to dealing with all these people waiting to talk to you. No problem at all, thank you. Thanks.